Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. It's a sunny, beautiful day in Florida and I am at My Style Boutique where they have furniture, decor, apparel, and jewelry. Also, designer purses like Louis Vuitton. They're located at 11,000 70th Avenue in Seminole, Florida. So y'all should get down here. Lori, you've seen the videos before. We called it the Taj Mahal of Jewelry. Her jewelry store's up here on the second floor. She's trying to get ready, get everything situated for a grand opening at some point. We're gonna go in here looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay. That's what I do, so make sure you click that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on these daily videos. Live buy it nows and auctions. We're gonna have one tomorrow night, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, jewelry and perfume bottles. Subscribe the channel thumbs up for this video. This is the video that I called Taj Mahal of jewelry This is her only location now. She has tons of stuff in here So you should get on down and see her today We're mainly going to focus on the jewelry and maybe some purses But she has lots of home decor for exterior and interior of your home and yesterday she got married So I'm going to take her this bottle of champagne Just pack that up we're gonna take that into there to her and look at some beautiful jewelry that she has. So she got married yesterday. I'll show you the exterior out here a little bit. Love these right here, always have. Cute little patio garden area. Pretty much everything is for sale. I have one of these guys. I have a couple of these right here, I love those. But this store is 13 rooms. So there's a lot of rooms to go through. And when we walk in, you're going to see quite a bit of stuff. But we're going to go upstairs and check out her progress on getting ready for the grand opening that she plans to have once her jewelry is all arranged in the order she loves. And Yeah. It's me. Okay. We will take a look just quickly at these purses so you get an idea of what she has. Look at these. These are authentic. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Michael Kors. Look at this cutie here. So I'm just show you around real quick, but we're gonna go upstairs and take a look around. So we're not looking at individual pieces right now, but I'm gonna to shop too because I'm having a sale tomorrow night and I want to bring some stuff. Let's see what she's got. Lori has it all, y'all. So my style boutique. 11,070th Avenue, Seminole, Florida. If you're in the area visiting, you've got to come down here and see her. She's got links online too where you can order. So if you're not in the local area, they do have an online shop and she's gonna tell you about that in a minute. But she has jewelry downstairs, jewelry upstairs, tons of purses. Look at all this jewelry. I wasn't kidding, was I? So lots of stuff.
more hanging on the wall. She has vintage clothing also. And tons of furniture. Look at this, y'all. Come on down here. I'm telling you. So lots of jewelry downstairs and lots of jewelry upstairs. You remember the cases that she has so neatly stacked full of jewelry. We're about to see those. Love those Louis. Now this is really person jewelry heaven. Home decor heaven to anklets. She's got it all. DK and Y. More jewelry up by the counter. Look at that cute Louis Vuitton coin purse right there in the back. Fendi, Fendi, Fendi. Sunglasses. But look around here, y'all. Stuart Watsman. Look at this desk, y'all. that snake bag. So I'm going to take you through these rooms just to show you a little bit of an overview of the home decor. It's got the upstairs again 13 rooms. Right. This is a small spot. Look at this, y'all. Lots of stuff. We're going to go upstairs now and check out her jewelry. I asked her if she had any kind of jewelry for a vampire. And I can probably dig through my stash, too, but I want to see what she's got. So 13 rooms of home decor. Jewelry downstairs, jewelry upstairs. Look at these. She'll have a grand opening when she gets everything organized and ready. It's missing something else. Go. Those two are Art Deco. This one's Georgian. Um, the blue one's Georgian. Yeah, and then this is Georgian. Every day, if you would. That one is too. See the chain on it? 
Oh, that's beautiful. See, can you see the scroll going to in the metal? Yeah, that's gorgeous. See how well it comes in. So, um, and then this piece, you can always tell by the chains, the age. You know, and then see it. Oh, let me see that. And mark as I. Uh huh. It's just beautiful. And then, um, this is just some pieces that I put. Um, these are just the coins and the Siam silver. And, um, those all just say something. But so, like, I've got all the drawers arranged. This is going to be all your religious, your luck, your religious, all your different crosses. Um, and they can still shop online, right? You've got certain pieces online. Uh, we yeah, we've got everything online, and then they can always just, they can always if they saw something. So all of these pieces are online. No. <laughs> so some yeah, but you've got some stuff online. Oh, to yeah. Take a look at. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got. A th you've got over, too I've many got to a, post over online. A thousand, <laughs> over a thousand pieces. This is all hearts, diamond and hearts, and different angel hearts. I mean, um, I've got the Tiffany hearts. Oh, this is beautiful. What is this? Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Golly. That's old. You love the old and the amethyst with the sterling and Marcus. Isn't that pretty? It is beautiful. Like. Bars. So everything's organized according to what it is. That's a beautiful piece right there, amber. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, steam. In sterling and then this is all gonna be stones oh, wow pretty. those are pretty too yep yeah. and then those are these are all gorgeous and then under <coughs> got all that and there's here and then this is jade and turquoise oh, everything, everything. Yeah. this is gonna be all your Pawnee silver Navajo Zuni Navajo oh, wow. so much of it yeah, that's a cool piece. These Zuni pieces are cool, too. I saw a similar piece to this last week. Mm-hmm. That's with the abalone? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are Zuni. Bracelet? No, it's what actually that, tie? a tie. Oh, is it a tie tag? Uh, and this is a Zuni. You could tell the style of what they do is different. It's this, like this right here, um, right? Or not? Is it's, that not? It's it is. It's those pieces, and then it's the figural. You know, that's um, not Zuni. It's the other one. Um, but you've got just. Oh well, golly. <laughs> mhm. Mm this is like the one you sold, probably. Mhm. Mm but it's a little bigger. Yeah. And then I've got bear claws. This is amber. And you've got your bear call laws. Now tell me, did you ever see Navajo jewelry that has quartz? Or not? Because <coughs> a lot of people think that Navajo only uses turquoise and coral and things like that. But do you ever see do you ever see quartz? I you see other stones like these. These are all yeah. Because I have one that's marked M D and it's quartz. And when I look it up, it's Mary. It's Mary. I forget what the last name is, but it's a, <coughs> it's a shows as a Navajo artist. But then the confusion becomes: Did they use quartz? They used everything in nature. They used bone. This is bone. <coughs> you know. Those are bone. And then, um, I'll look up your Mary. I'll tell you more about her. Yeah. Ring right there. Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? And then mm -hmm. you, you stuff it. It was one of those when things stunk. When things stunk? Yeah, when it stunk to walk down the street. Well, I think it's if you smelled bad, right? If you smelled... No, well, they would put... No, they would put oh, something that, that smells good in. And then when they're walking past somebody who stinks... They put the ring up to their nose. They themselves. So can y'all see that right there? You disguise, can see on the edge. To disguise the scent. And then here's the back of it. So they put perfume or something back there. What does that date to? Do you know? No... Um, Do you want that back under there where it oh, was? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I've, uh, this is all the rings. Probably the eighteen late eighteen hundreds, maybe. This is a cool setting. Look at this one. 
And what is that? Smoky quartz? Yep. See how high it is? Mm hmm I love rings like that. I do, too. I'm actually... Oh, I've been playing, changing what I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah. um, this is a beautiful one right here. Mm hmm That one. But you could tell this is going to be newer. This is actually going to be more like, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be your older. That's going to be your older. Look at this one. This goes with the bracelet you liked. Oh, gosh. Check out that set. Crown. Your crown. Um, have you seen the reversible ones? I like this, this is one. jade. Look, purple jade. Mm -hmm. That's purple jade. This one right here is pretty to me. That's cornelian, and you like it because it's very Byzantine. Like, I'll show you. It's got a lot of the, you like stuff that's got like the. Oh, yeah. The workmanship. Mm-hmm. It's a keeper piece is what mm -hmm. that is. What's it called again? It's called dog tooth when the prongs are like that because they look like dog's teeth. Oh, okay. And that's, you'll see a lot of the older jewelry have the dog teeth, a lot of the, um, with the check glass and stuff, when they set it, they use the dog teeth prongs. Okay. And does that it's age an older the piece style. also? Yep, it's an older style. Um, and then something funny, a lot of people think this, a lot of people think these rings were mother rings and that they put the kids' birthstones in uh -huh. it, but they're not. It's, this is your, um, it's a secret message and give women the right to vote. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. So it's called, um, it's called, uh, ugh, I was just talking about it yesterday. And that's all of these? Uh, suffragette. Suffragette is when the women didn't, and it would spell out a message. And then in the even older times, men who wanted to send a woman a message, uh -huh. like regard, yeah. it would be red, and each color of the stone was the first letter of the word. Really? Yes. And that's how they got secret you is know, that how they came about with the mother's rings, though, later, is to put the birthstones in there of the children's births? People did that. But it that. started they, out as a message. It started out as suffragette. Yeah, okay. suffragette was when the... Um, it's, it's, suffragette started in, in Britain with giving women the right to vote, but yeah. then it was like a secret organization of women. Oh, okay. So if they wore, you know, the, the colors that spelled it out, they were members. Gotcha. And then you've got... Um, are these CZs? Are, uh, no. Crystal. Summer quartz, CZ, Summer Diamond. Just depends. This one's beautiful right here. I love the big, bold ones like that. Oh, I know you do. And I love, those are quartz. The big, bold ones are faceted quartz. And then and these are just, you know, a little bit of everything for everybody. And then this is pretty cool. This is all your animals. But, like, look at this. This is really old vintage sterling um it's uh anson anson i don't think anson. i've ever had that or heard of it yeah anson sterling yeah so anson made a lot of the men's sterling too mm -hmm. and then um love the fish there also <laughs> i love the bird because of course easy right mommy loves birds peekaboo baby hi boo boo I and all those abalone butterflies. Yeah, that whole thing is full of that. And, and these are even cool. Look, I mm -hmm. love the white enamel. This is butterflies set with precious stones. The articulated fish uh, back there uh -huh. with the abalone. Oh, that's beautiful too. And look, it's got rubies in the antenna and jade, yep. carved jade. Um, yeah, I like the articulated fish. I have a really big one of these, like six inches oh this is super cool too look this little monkey with ruby eyes mm -hmm. he's adorable and when did you start jewelry again when did you start dabbling in jewelry oh um well i've always because you've always had stores. I've always had stores, and I've always had jewelry, but I didn't start selling it till I got, like, gun-shy from some shysty people who bought from me. Somebody's been through them today, so they're all messed up. This one's pretty. That, that one's pretty, too. Mm -hmm. 
And then these these are with all the stones and stuff. Oh, this one's gorgeous also. Mm -hmm. What stone is that? Emerald. Okay. Look at this. This is super cool. This is Saworski in sterling. That's a Saworski piece. Is that set in sterling silver? Uh-huh. Everything in the drawers. Everything okay. here is sterling or gold. Um, and the hearts should have been in the other. But they're not, but somebody's been pawing through here. I can tell. Let's look at this. That's what people do when they come when they come through. That's right. This one's pretty also. Mm-hmm. And then everything. Look at that one. This is pretty. This one is too. I didn't see this one. Oh, yeah. Ago. Look at the cut on that. Oh, wow. I'll show you another super cut. What's that cool cut, cut called? It's a specialty cut. Different companies patent these specialty cuts. I'd have to look it up. I forgot. If I'm honest. So, but yes, they did use them. And I'll show you in my book where it talks about it. Then, oh, that's a beautiful one, too. Yeah, that's why I was showing you. Oh, yeah, it I'm sitting here totally lost. looking at the other ones. And <laughs> <laughs> it gets lost. There's hundreds. Oh, look these. at this cut. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm hmm. So it's got depth to it, or is the surface? No, the surface is flat, isn't it? Yep, it's just the cut of it. Can you get a good picture of that? Yeah, probably. And then. So flat on the surface, yeah, I got a good shot of it. This mid century abstract with the opals is cool. I love the abstract jewelry. Oh my god, and the mid century bracelets are really big now. Now, is this considered brutalist also? Yep. Brutalist? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mid century brutalist, and then. Um, you remember the 70s? Well, I was born in the 70s. Uh oh. <laughs> well, we were being really bad in the 70s, I and mean, when you always needed a spoon. And this is recorded. And this opens. So you know, no, this opens and it's coconut. Oh my gosh. This was what you wore into the clubs. What about the poison rings, though? Oh, you I know have this. one on my desk. Yeah, I have a few, but I had one out here. It's just. Um... Here's the. Look at this, y'all. Remember the gold roach? Y'all did not like that very much, but oh it's my great. Gosh, I my road. Baby, baby. Then I've been working on. Uh, working on. 18 karat gold diamonds. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. This is 18 karat gold and faceted gems. So all these are. Not all of them. Not all of them. These are cool. Look at this. So what'd you say this bracelet is again? That's 18 karat and faceted gemstones, independently hanging, and black diamonds in the leaves. This is 24 karat. 24 karat gold. What are these pearls, pearls. called again? Yeah, uh, the Baroque. Okay. So do you know when you're gonna have your grand opening? I am going to try to have my grand opening soon, 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 within the next month, I hope. We'll have to get a lot of people out here. Right now, Jeff. I sold these earrings just a few days ago. I had a matching brooch with them. Which ones? These right here. Um, oh, those are pretty. Yeah. So I had a matching. I had a matching uh, earrings with a brooch. I sold those. Look at this bracelet here, y'all. I have this one. Lori does too. That's awesome. I don't know if I ever showed that yet or not. I think I did. Somebody watching is going to tell me they got it. And you have, look at these beautiful bracelets right here. Look at this one. It's 
looks pretty also. So I key K E E blown to Lorraine Watson. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Lorraine. And then I key's an Abho artist, I assume. Uh -huh. of Crystals in Sterling. Faceted quartz crystals in sterling. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. What is that? A pair of earrings? Mm -hmm. What's it made of? Turtle. Tur uh, tortoise. It's a lot of new subscribers that probably haven't been seen the Taj Mahal jewelry video, so they Oh, these are, um... You know what that's porcupine. Uh, that's what I was thinking. It's porcupine quills. Those are Aborigine. They're tribal. So this would be the necklace with the porcupine. They're two different tribes. And then this one goes like that. Pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm, they are. Sterling in the long. Yeah. And then, so again, when you look at the chains, you know this is going to be a much older piece by the style of the chain. And then this one has the gold spacers with the sterling. The earrings. Mm hmm. They are. So, since I'm I've always loved these bracelets right here. Every time I see them, this one. Mm -hmm. You know, that it's funny because the, those, the sterling and those, these were from Macy's. from, oh And they were gosh. selling them for an, an, a ridiculous amount of money. $720. Well, is it? No, Saks Fifth Avenue. No, where? Be brilliant. Is who, who made them. But... They all were new. I had got them new with the price tags. Look at this little one. I like that one. Oh, I do too. Now, is that what is that also? Oh, it's cubic it's, zirconia. You know what that? Or it's quartz. So these right here, because you've got them priced, so one eighty. But they were seven hundred and twenty. Yeah, the this store. was seven hundred and twenty, and it's one eighty. And they're new with the tags still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are old. This is pretty. Oh. I like this Byzantine style. That's for meal. For gold over sterling. All these are. Sterling and gold. Diamond, sterling, and gold. Mm-hmm. You know who Cookie Lee is, right? Mm -hmm. Have you seen her sterling stuff? I have not. Where'd I put this one? So Cookie Lee Sterling? Yep. And look how it closes. It's really cool. And then it locks. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I love when you find custom jewelry manufacturers when they do something in fine jewelry. What is that? Um, it is carved. Is it Avalon? This is going to be your leather and stones. Oh. No, those are pretty right here. Yeah, these are. This is the necklace. And then this is the bracelet. Oh. And this is cool. Look at this. Yeah, I know. Oh. And this is the necklace that goes with that. Plus, and then I could put any kind of ch sterling chain that somebody wants oh, on yeah. it. You do custom chains on them. 
Do you know the micro on it right offhand? Mm, it is. So diamonds and amethyst mm -hmm. and sterling. Mm -hmm. This is cool. These are all your toggle bracelets. I might can zoom in on this. It says JR. Uh, it's Ripka. Judith Ripka. Okay. JR, Judith Ripka. Oh, I have another Judith Ripka over here. Sterling silver. And this has diamonds also. Mm -hmm. There we are right there. So the back of this one's not marked JR. It's marked. Judith Ripka. Yeah. yeah. And then you need a diamond. So what's the plans? I mean, it. I was putting off the grand opening because I was trying to get it more organized. Yeah, so they can come on up and but shop. They can come up and shop right. anytime they want. Yeah, so it's all open, but you're yeah, just going to have a... and it's just not as organized or pretty as it could be. Well, and I think, too, on organization, that's an everyday thing, isn't it? Oh, my God, you have no nothing idea. ever. Nothing ever is totally organized. You have no Hello. idea. Hey, look how pretty. That's easy. And what, for the for the new people watching, the panties oh, that you hang the brooches yeah, on, or, and so it, that indicates the year, kind of the um, yeah, era the, of the brooch. Yeah, and then like on the 80s, so the garters. on the 80s panties, high-waisted 80s panties. What, easy what? I'm hey, Mama. Here, Mama. Yeah. You know the elliptical machine at your house? Yeah. We have it at 1600. Yeah. Someone said... Look at this peacock right here. Oh, I like that one. Oh, that's gorgeous. So these hanging up here too for to organize later. Oh, uh, those. Or organize yeah, at some point. Uh, them and I have nowhere to put them, so I stick them up there. The heart, the round, I don't know what this is. A round heart necklace is beautiful. Uh, Pendant. There's a lot of great stuff in there. It's just but there is. Just dig around in it, right? <laughs> you know me, I'm ADHD. I start one thing and go to the next. I think that's the majority of us. So this will be a big jewelry area. So. so I do, it's hard to see, but I do have like, um, and I'll move it. Into, right now, the reason it's, this is a mess because I've been to um, do the plastic. So they're hanging, but like, so look, this is going to be all Monet. Well, Monet gold. Then you have Monet silver. Do you think you have any real gold in there? No, it's all Monet. Oh, okay. I separate out like the Monet silver okay. and the, um, cause you know, they did jewelry and silver in Sterling in Mexico. Coro especially partnered with, um, on his Mexican silver, but that's why you see these all hanging cause I'm sorting through. Okay. So then you've got, so I've got to organize them cause I just put them in here, but like this is all your Monet and the. So this all be neatly arranged too yes, when you're done, yes, just like the others. This is all, um, this is Monet. This is all Monet. And then this is a cool piece. Look at this. Oh, this? that's Miriam Haskell. That's uh -oh. Miriam. This one got put in the wrong <laughs> drawer. I was like, that's way too nice. Yes, that's Miriam Haskell. We don't put her in a corner, do we? No, we love some Miriam. I actually had it out because I was... Um, I have another Miriam Haskell piece I was going to put online. Yes, now we're back to Monet. Okay, this is Napier. And they had some fabulous pieces. I've looked up, like, what's the top, you know, mm -hmm. the highest selling in Monet and yeah. Napier. And they have some really interesting pieces. It's all got to be organized, but it's just, this is me getting it where it needs to go, then organizing it. Then this is all... So how do you decide, how do you decide what's 
what's in and what's not for the year? Or do you just pretty much collect a little bit of everything and it changes yearly? I collect everything and what I'll do is I'll put it away just like I did with the brooches until they came back. And then last year when brooches and stick pins hit and men wearing pearls hit, I'll pull it all back out. Yeah. And so there's, you know, everything is cyclical. You know, you have some statement pieces that people will always want. And the people who collect, they they want to have, you know, a good variety of everything when they're collecting. There is a super cool piece. And I think it's in this. So, um, like so you've sorted these by designer and then you'll lay them out. Well, what I do is I put them in these big tubs. Like all those three tubs are Japan. Okay. And then I'll get drawers going and put all the Japan in. I'll try to get the earrings that go with the necklaces. And so um, I've been doing plastics, so that's why these are all sorted. Um, I'm trying to do them by years. So what years they came out. What is this called? Because I've got something similar to this. The Lucite chain link. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm very cool and then like so ask if people like moon glow in the plastics do y'all like moon glow because i know that's I'll post real this tonight popular also for people to collect so what they is collect moon, glow? moon glow you see how it glows mm -hmm. it's a type of see didn't you say it'll glow under well sir i i'll show you yeah okay. some things change color with the black i've seen light. this before mm -hmm. that's all the moon that's in there because it's got the moon glow and okay. i'm just storing I've been sorting my plastics. Oh, they like, pretty. yeah, they like the marble too, which okay. is going to be like this, the marbled. These are all marbled, so I've kind of separated them out by the type of plastic they are, whether they're, um, you know, the age, the flowers. I know you're going to like this. So this. Oh yeah. I love this right here. Oh my god! The fox. I don't even think I could sell it if I had it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the lions too. Oh, I love that one. That's always been the when I first met you last year. Mm hmm. And the Dalmatians. I mean, feel the weight of this. Hold that. Oh gosh. So where would people wear this on their on shoulder? On your blazer. On your okay. jacket. The big heavy ones like that. Or on you know, I sometimes will take something like this and I'll put it on pearls or on a necklace. And Let me see this real quick. That looks similar to something. To the bracelet that you have, that the tail goes into the mouth, that one? Yeah. No, I've got a pair of earrings similar to this. What, see, I like the Do you know the, the designer on this one? I will have to look. I like the snakes, though. Yeah, I do, too. But I've just started putting things away that were packed. So, mm -hmm. like, this is all your, you know, these are all going to be by, by style you know your enamel leaves by what they are and then this is oh all wow your, this is beautiful your 70s hippie all about a barbie summer all about a barbie summer it's all about a barbie summer you barbie gotta come and get summer. yeah wear these to the movies right absolutely you come up here this would glow in the dark yeah i'll black light it i'm um, telling you it's a barbie is, summer for sure all your stones and different things like that um, this this is, one looks old. Yes. That's antique, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Yeah. It, Maybe. No, it, pro it probably is. It's probably pre-1920. Um, and then, you know, a lot of ways, that, um, and I know your people are very, very knowledgeable, so they understand. They know. I've just started sorting these out. Oh, okay. But, like, when you turn the pin over, so the trombone style mm -hmm. like that and then also and what, is that, what is that to age that's how you can date it okay by that and then also a real good way to date it is um i know i got stabbed by that when the pin is longer than the see that oh yeah see I remember how long that, that pin uh -huh. is that dates it because they stopped doing that okay what date do you think I'm going to say probably, probably 20s. That could even be a, a Haskell piece. I don't know. 
I have to do the research too because I know. it's no, just it, well, you can't remember all these well, pieces. You I only have fifteen thousand of them, right or well, more? Well, Jeff says two million, but two million. <laughs> but like these are the check glass and the. Um, oh, that is nice. And you can tell the way it's made. Yeah. And I always tell people when you turn the piece over, it should be as beautiful on the back as it is on the front. Uh huh. And then like these inside the flowers, and they're wired, and then the wires covered. Yep. And uh, the dog tooth with the molded stone. Let me show them dog teeth. So that's a dog teeth mm -hmm. set right there. And then, um, so I know you know the Juliana jewelry, but I had was studying it and I uh, saw a pair of earrings. And I was able to authenticate the earrings as Juliana by the backs when I was reading the book. The, the, and I'm just, this is like a work in progress. Yeah. Um, because I still have like... Well, and I think they all, they all understand that for sure. Like I mean, I don't even know where you could start and finish, you know. This is just a... I love these. Yep. Yeah, these are all... This is all your... Um, gold filled with real stones you know what too and wow look at these right here are those pierced yeah these are all pierced oh my gosh and then i don't know if where if i let me see where so this is all uh -uh, it's I'm the done. top to to a jar and it's probably something. sterling isn't it um i don't think it's sterling but i didn't check it but just, you would think if it was strolling, the patina would be more. It would be darker and deeper for its age. You know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? Well, it's kind of different right there on the bottom. Yeah. But that's what it went to. I mean, I have top. CC lost a crown. Mm. Mm. Um, so, this is all your celluloid, <coughs> your deco. These are really your old, old pieces. The carving. This is pretty. Yeah, that's beautiful. The belt buckles. <coughs> this is a perfume. Perfume handle. So a perfume bottle holder that looks like it's made out of yeah, no, bone or horn. Mm -hmm. I'd have to check it, but this is a cool fur piece. These are ivory. This is a really old. I'm trying to see what that says. Oh yeah, that's nice too. Really old piece. What's great is when you do this, Czechoslovakia. Uh-huh. Um, is when you look at it on TV, then you can see it even better than than when you're looking here. at yeah. it here. Yeah, there's a lot of times I've looked here trying to see it and then where does this go? You can put it right there. And then um I see it better on TV. I usually, if I'm trying to look up something and I can't read it, I'll take a picture of it and then mm -hmm. I blow Zoom up the in. picture. That's mm -hmm. how you know when you need glasses or when you're older. Somebody tell me that. So how you know when you're older. I know when I'm older. Believe me. It's not lost on me. This is your Bakelite and plastics and stuff that I need to check. And then again, this is just all for me sorting. And then once it's sorted, then it'll I'll get it out of the drawer and we'll get gotcha. it up. But that I was like laying out, so these are all going to be, they're all hand knotted. So these are your knotted ones. Um, these are your older dog tooth, which would probably be your Czechoslovakia, Hong Kong, Austria ones. Look at that. I mean, it's as you nice as the all, fine jewelry. You? It's as nice as the fine jewelry in the fine jewelry room. It's just made the same. Well, tell it's them about just... your organization, how you organize. Because I know when customers come in here, you tell them that you don't organize based on what I don't how they organize would think. for them. I organize for me. So, so if when you they... walked in and wanted a scarab bracelet, I could take you right to the scarab bracelet. Okay. If you want gold filled, I can go right to that. If you want 80s, I could go to that. Um, all the designers have their own um, drawers, so I can just go to the A's, the B's, the C's. Um, and again, this is just me working on sorting and separating. And I put them in the drawers while I'm working on it, so it's not quite so messy. Yeah. This is a cool marble piece. Look at that. Look at that brooch. 
and then when they were doing make a light in wood what is this a very cool isn't that cool uh -huh. that's a cool one yeah baby yeah baby that is pretty isn't that, isn't that cool? this is really pretty this one yeah, that's your that's your glow stuff again. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Oh, uh, I call it. Um, I'll, let, me, let me grab a. So do you like do you like getting this when it's in uh, even the bracelets? Yeah, because it glows on its own. So it will glow. Look. So come here. I'll show you something. And start. It won't come out attached See? to this one mm -mm. though. So look at that. Yeah. Okay. But then here, come here. You want to yeah, see bring your it in here. glass? Look. Look at this green one. Show that green brooch at the top. Where, right here? Yeah. See that? Mm-hmm. Watch this. Oh, wow. That's uranium glass. Here, let me take a picture. Gonna... Wow, well, that's nice, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Before. <laughs> after. And the one below it is, too. See? Which the one? The blue. Look at this. Oh, yeah. So that's blue uranium glass when you don't have the light on it. But if people want to know. You just check it like that. Yep, yeah, yeah. you just check it like that. And then you don't even have to have the lights off and you'll be able to see. Look at this one. See that? It has two pieces. Which one? This one. Oh, yeah, that one right there, yeah. Uh-huh, see, plain. And then it's just fun if you're looking for a specific thing. Um, it's fun to watch it pop. Just mm -hmm. see what you got and just kind of learn about it like that. What about? And then, like, if you see, look at that. Yep. You can just hit it. And then we call this rave jewelry because a lot of the young Y2K kids I'm getting close to five. love to go to um, concerts and stuff that it's always black lights. So we put this online as Y2K rave jewelry so that when they're out, see, look at that blue one. That one's pretty. See? Mm -hmm. And then just light it up. It's a light up party. <laughs> what, 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 baby? What, what, what? I love these. These, the pearls. Look. Yeah. How cool is that to go out to a party? I love the, um. See, stuff like this, when I find it, I don't even sell it. I put it in my, my in little. In your collection. Yes. I do too. Like this Miriam Haskell piece. Uh-huh. This is an amazing piece. What kind of purse is this? Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It's a beaded bag. Mm -hmm. Well, if did you look above the door? Mm -mm. All the beaded bags. You got lots of great bags. And I just put the gloves up there because you can move them. Isn't that a cool mm -hmm. one? Yeah, it and is. And then you know what this one is? You know what that is? What? It's a tobacco bag. Oh, is that's it? what I they used that. to, that's their tobacco bags. These are fun. And then we have Whiting and Davis and all those normal ones too. This one's pretty awesome. Oh, I love, I love the Lucite and the Plastics. There's yeah, another one, look at that. Go ahead. I'm Lori, this is Jacob, and we are My Easy Vintage, and that is with an E and a Z. We're also going to show you our QR code, which will take you to all our online stores. We have over a thousand pieces listed right now, and our goal is to get up to a hundred thousand. And where do y'all have sales at? What, your website where they I can purchase if they're not Poshmark, from here? eBay, Etsy, and Depop. Depop is strictly designated to everything from $3 yeah. to $100. And then Poshmark is designated to everything $20 to $100 plus. Yeah. So if you're looking for something over $100, go to our Poshmark. If you're looking for anything in between, it's all going to be on there. And if you're looking for anything $20 and less, it'll be all on our Depop. And then they can also come up here or they can call the store if they have any, they, if yep. they see something they'd like to buy. My, my cell phone number's on there and Lori's cell phone number's on there. You can call or text us and the QR code takes you to all the online stores as well. All right. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you it. Show you this card. But a lot of y'all have, a few of y'all have been here. 
it's a great place to go to and shop around. She has thousands of pieces of jewelry. So hope y'all enjoyed the video, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget the live sale tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in the Seminole, Tampa area, St. Petersburg, come by My Style Boutique right here in Seminole, Florida. If there's anything particular looking for, just call Lori or Jacob, and they'll find it for you. And we'll see y'all later. Bye.